What is up guys, Jay Blanks here from Blanks Gaming with another Monster Hunter World video and this one will be another quick video on what you can expect to see when you fight Kushala Daora, which is one of the Elder Dragons and in my opinion the most annoying one to fight. This will pretty much go over what his weaknesses are, what element he uses as well as the different attacks that he'll throw at you and this is for people who don't want to go in completely blind not knowing what to expect. Hopefully after seeing this video, it'll give you an idea, allowing you to choose the right equipment, choose the right weapon, and come up with the best strategy to defeat him. And if you guys learned something today, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. I really do appreciate the support, and it really does help the channel out. Having said that, let's dive right in. Alright, just to quickly go over the element that he uses, he uses ice, so high ice resist would be very useful such as the Legiana armor for example. And to go over some of his weaknesses, he is weak against thunder as well as poison, so something from the Tobi Kadachi or the Puke Puke would definitely help you in your battle against him. And moving on to some of his attacks that he'll throw at you. So the first thing I want to go over is the wind around his body and this is constantly there and it is very annoying to deal with because for melee users, you do have to get in close, and if you do, it blows you away, preventing you from attacking and moving. He also leaves tornadoes around, and if you step into it, you do get hurt and blown away, again making you immobilized. Also, if you're near the tornado, it does blow you back and flinch you, preventing you from moving for a certain amount of time, and he leaves a lot of these around, which makes it very annoying and restricts your movement, especially for melee users. Okay, so the next thing we want to go over are his basic melee attacks. As you can see, he has a jump attack, also a charging attack. If you are in his way, you do get hurt, as well as a claw attack. And lastly, this lunge attack. He kind of takes two bites or two lunges towards you. And these are all fairly easy to dodge and also very common among Elder Dragons. They all have a similar moveset when it comes to their melee attacks. Kushala also has a wind blast attack. One of them is he shoots one blast of wind towards you. It goes a pretty long distance. And another one is the charge up attack. This looks like his most powerful attack where he stands on both feet and unleashes a huge wind blast. He also has a short range wind attack where he winds up and pretty much blows a gust of wind in front of him. Another one of his moves are when he stands on both feet and creates a tornado around him which can deflect your attacks and also he can do this while flying up in the air as you can see there. He spun and created another tornado and if you are near it, you do get blown away. Now that he's in the air, let's go over some of his aerial attacks. One of them is his claw attack where he pretty much lunges forward while flying. And another one is his dive, which is common across all Elder Dragons. And to go over some of his wind attacks, he has a single wind blast that he can shoot at you while you're in the air. This also could be blocked by a wall, as you can see there. And lastly, he has a multi-wind blast. And here he pretty much just shoots three consecutive wind blasts. And they're fairly easy to dodge as well. That pretty much wraps up the video on Kushala Daora and what you can expect to see when you fight him. I hope this helped you guys out going into your fight against him and allow you to create the best strategy to defeat him. And if it does help you guys out, feel free to drop a like and feel free to subscribe. It really does help the channel out and I really do appreciate the support. And having said all that, this is Jay Blanks for Blanks Gaming. I'll see you guys next time.